How to make the magnetic switching system for free energy devices. Can magnets really be the key to free energy? Using cutting-edge technology and the extraordinary strength of N52 magnets, the magnet switching system holds the promise of reshaping our energy future. In this video, we uncover the secrets of how magnets could power a world of endless energy possibilities. Don't miss this thrilling exploration. The most effective element of free energy would be a very powerful, high-performance permanent magnet N52. And this is how you can effectively amplify the force of such a magnet. The figure on the upper left demonstrates that a single magnet is capable of lifting 800 grams, while the magnets shown in the center and on the right are designed to lift even greater weights. This is an electromagnetic coil installed in the picture on the right. So let's look at why this works best. This is the result of simulating the device on the left. The density and direction of the magnetic field are symmetrical. The magnet switching system is to maximize the power by integrating a left-right symmetrical magnetic force into one side. Electromagnetic coils are used most effectively to perform such tasks. Why is the left side possible and not the right side? The answer is on the next screen. The right side structure cannot use because magnetic flux circulates inside the body, so it cannot extract magnetic energy from the structure. Let's take a look at the simple magnet circle test. We are testing the left top picture model. You can see the magnetic flux spreading from the silicon steel body. The magnetic flux is spreading in every direction from the body. So we find that the top left model is suitable for maximizing the magnetic flux power. Then, let's take a look at the other case. The polarity directions of the two magnets are opposite. This model has opposite magnetic directions. There's no magnetic flux around. All the magnetic fluxes are circulating inside the body. There is no magnetic flux. We can't see anything through the viewer. Therefore, other cases are preferred for magnetic switching systems.
This is one of those free energy motors driven video using magnet switching technology. This is definitely not a scam or fake video. We will see the detailed information about this. Let's take a look at the next figures. This is a combination of magnets, silicon steel, and control coils. Applying a DC voltage here causes the phenomenon as shown in the figure. The left steel has been pulled by the magnet and electromagnet. This time, if the DC voltage is applied in reverse, the same thing happens on the other side. This is the actual magnetic switching system that we saw in the simulation video. The function of this device is to collect the magnetic force of two magnets in the same direction. In addition, as you have seen before, the flow can be controlled clockwise or counterclockwise through a energized coil. This device has two N52 magnets that are very powerful and can easily pull silicon steel up close. This is another bunch of silicon steel. I'm going to put this bunch of silicon steel near the magnet switching system. The magnets pull bundles of silicon steel. Most magnetic fluxes flow through a bundle of silicon on the left, so they are rarely seen. Okay, let's detach the silicon steel body. It's not easy. Now we can see the magnetic flux through the viewer. This phenomenon occurs on the other side too. You can't see the magnetic flux pattern clearly because the majority magnetic flux is flowing in the opposite direction, so it flows very little towards the viewer. We couldn't see it well with the flux viewer, but it has the weak power to pull the silicon steel. All right, let's put another bunch of silicon steel nearby. A little attraction pulls the silicone body. It can also be easily removed. What we know here is that once the direction in which the magnetic flux flows is determined, it tends to continue to flow only in that direction. Therefore, these characteristics are the advantage of being able to develop a free energy device. All right. Now, I'm going to supply DC power to the coil. 
Can you see the movement of the right silicone steel body? The right silicone body tilts outward because the bottom is not flat and the pulling force becomes zero for a short time. Okay, I'll try to reverse the DC power like the picture. This time, the silicon steel body on the other side is separated. Now, we understand the magnetic switching system. Let's look at again the motor developed by a Russian using this magnetic switching system. You can see the left and right steel bars are attracting alternately. There are several ways to make this work possible. This movement enables rotational movement as a motor. Please, look at this system again. Let's look at the magnetic flux. It's not a perfect symmetry, so you can see a little bit of a magnetic flux, unlike the other side. Also, the attracting force is weak, too. Let's apply reverse DC power again. So the same phenomenon happened again. The advantage of this system is that once electricity is supplied, and the direction of the magnetic force is established, it can maintain its state without requiring continuous electricity supply. If we want to use this device to create a free energy device, it depends on how efficiently we can change the polarity of the silicon on the left and right. By supplying DC power to the system, you can see what happens with silicon steel inside. The energized coils produce a magnetic flux flow, which appears when DC power is turned on. My next project is a magnetic motor using this magnetic switching system. It will take some time to complete. Please like and subscribe my channel.
thank you for your watching. Please like and subscribe my channel.